Hi Aries, this is your love portion of the general read. We're going to do some things a little differently this time because I'm under a little time crunch. Um, and so I'm just going to pull three cards for your love, your love energy around you guys for every Aries out there. This week, there's going to be some delays in love, whether it be delays through communication, delays through um, seeing results. Um, connecting with someone these are delays that are by force and by not by choice uh, and some of you are just forced to kind of wait a situation out and see how it's going to play out down the line here um, you in the meantime are going to either make your time useful by trying to work things out with this person get back into a better place again it'll be difficult some of you may feel like it's impossible it's meant to be that way because it's a timing thing you have no control over it but eventually for some of you that's deciding um, to just take one day at a time and move on from this relationship you are going to find happiness and peace down the line that's what i have for aries um, because i ultimately see um, where your happiness and satisfaction lies is within yourself and being your own person so i'm pulling uh, love energy for you aries out there that's kind of moving past one relationship and moving on to another no matter how long it's been since you've left that other relationship that's what i have for aries now on to taurus get ready guys this is about to end this relationship this job it's about to end get ready you're about to meet someone and this time it's for keeps this is someone who wants to invest in you this breakup is coming in hot this job has been taking a toll on you a toll on you this job has been taking a toll on you but get get ready some of you you're about to level up this situation can get ugly and hopefully no one goes to jail be careful guys this may not be the time to leap change <clears throat> change is coming it's here. There's nothing you can do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hi, Taurus. Uh, just pulling a few cards for the general love portion for all Tauruses out there. I do see that you are very um, vigilant. Looks like life is changing for you. And it, again, it looks like it's changing for the better. Um, you've been taking some time or needing to take some time. And now you're kind of moving past or soon will be moving past a situation that um, you once had long felt a deep connection with. So some of you are heading toward a whole new world a whole new life starting over again and for some of you it's going to show up in your career and in other areas of your life and not necessarily your love life congratulations to you Tauruses out there that just welcomed baby um, or again something that you've been working and focusing on now is realizing itself because I do see you kind of moving on and ending what's what what's what once was excuse me in a relationship and finding happiness and success elsewhere okay but also being very clear about what was hidden so if there was anything that you didn't know um, things will be coming out now the unfortunate part about that is not only you would know about it others will be aware too almost like a little bit of exposing a situation as well never you mind i do feel like you're going to be okay in spite of that if that's the case you're strong. You've come to your conclusion and you know it's going to take time before you your heart fully walks away. But you knew you needed to do that. There's going to be a new person coming in. It could be the, the same person or a new person. This is someone. Yeah, this is somebody who's been here for a while and may have felt like you um, stress them out, that sort of thing. So if they if someone has felt some kind of way towards you they're going to try to come back and make things right if that makes sense okay if the issue with this person Taurus is consistency you may not still see that they may not still be at as consistent as they 
are claiming they want to be okay um they may feel like or tell you hey i want to do dot 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 my hands are tied whatever um but i do see either working it out okay working this situation out or you moving on and focusing more on work and career and other areas of your life and not this relationship so it's not over completely and for some of you a new person coming in will kind of remind you of the past and you'll feel like you're kind of repeating that so i have taurus now let's look at jonah get ready guys this is about to end this relationship this job it's about to end Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful guys, this may not be the time to leap. Change <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you could do about it. It's coming. It's coming and you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too too long. They're about to come toward you. Hey, gems. Uh, pulling a few cards for all Geminis out there regarding love. So let's go. You're taking a break. But you're going to come back with more clarity um, about a situation. You're putting something past you. You're kind of giving up and you're focusing on work for some of you. Um, some of you may want to put this past you, but that's the hardest thing to do. And you may find yourself seriously focusing, overtly focusing on something. I do see a new job, new opportunity. I also see the work that you're putting in um, is going to pay off in dividends for some of you Geminis out there. Now, going back to love, you're going to like take a step back for love from love Gemini's um, even if you're in a relationship some of you are just going to take a step back you probably be more quiet than usual focusing again like I said more on work or your tasks at hand than a relationship you need some time um, so you may not be running after someone to make it right that sort of thing um, at this time you're going to make yeah your time useful elsewhere uh, because there may be some issues with the family or your happiness. You're not happy overall or your family unit, whoever you've been in a relationship with that it feels like, you know, it was, it was pretty significant, could be problematic. And you're going to be confused. It's going to be a lot on your plate. Um, you focusing in other areas does not necessarily give you the clarity like you'll get clarity but then you get back to being a little confused still back reminiscing about the situation and then it can start to really become a lot of pressure on you to keep going work may also be overwhelming at this time for you gems but you guys will see it all the way through your person is holding back but willing to work this out taking a step back allowing for you know the situation to kind of play itself out uh, but they're still wanting to work this out to some degree they may feel like yeah there's problems but we we can get through it one step at a time together okay so time will tell with this relationship that's what i have for gems now let's look at cancer get ready guys this is about to end this relationship this job it's about to end Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you could do about it. It's coming. 
that's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hi, Cancer. Uh, we're doing something a little different with the love reading. So I'm just going to pull a few cards for all Cancers regarding love. Awesome. Taking a step back. Some of you guys are taking a break. Holding back a lot. And you guys are no different than the other signs here. Holding back a lot. Um, taking a wait and see approach about a situation before a final decision is made um, regarding this relationship. For some of you, it could just be something regarding you and your person. And it's just not time to make this decision. So there's some um, delay. There also could be other things going on um, that you guys are not able to spend enough time or spend any time together. And you're kind of feeling like you're at a standstill together. You're invested, Cancer, in your person. You love them dearly. Okay. And you want to see them whatever they're wanting to do and move it forward. It looks like you're kind of wanting that or you'll be coming around like wherever this delay is and you guys haven't fully moved forward to the next stage or whatever that is if that makes sense um by september you may find yourself kind of you now are on board and you're ready to move it forward you're ready to get back on track you do care deeply for them um Your person may feel like there has been problems between the two of you, that the two of you may have gotten to some understanding and clarity. Um, and it, this situation is worth working on because ultimately you are their person that they want to spend life with, you know, that they want to do this thing called life with. So wherever there is problems, looks like it's going to be on the men. That's what I have for cancers. Now let's look at Leo's. Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. <laughs> Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly. And hopefully, no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you could do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. <laughs> Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time... It's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you could do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hi, Leo. We're doing something a little different with the love readings. I'm only pulling a few cards for all Leos regarding love. There's a decision to make, a powerful decision that needs to be made that may be a bit delayed um, in its actual decision. So there could be some delays in that. Um, but out of the blue, 
there could be a man coming into your life or uh, Leo men of you going into someone's life. And this is situation can prove hot and cold. Um, you and your partner, this situation may prove, like I said, hot and cold. And ultimately, there's going to be a decision that needs to be made. And I'm hearing by October, there's going to be a decision that needs to be made of where do we go? What are we going to do? That sort of thing. Distance could also be a factor and it needs to come to a conclusion about that here. Some of you Leos may feel like either um, you know exactly what you're dealing with and who you're dealing with. This person may not be able to be trusted or you're perceived that way. Um, and you have to go back and make things right. Um, you're taking a minute, Leos. Mm, I'm going to have to. Let me do this. Hold on, guys. Yeah, you're taking a minute because... all. Hmm. You don't really want this to be over. I'm not going to hold up any more time. You may feel like I have a lot of other things to do and focus on. And ultimately, for some of you, you may feel like um, you either you guys have made a family and created a family. It's like a family together. Um, it's deeper than just the two of you. You know, uh, so you're not prepared to fully just leave yet. And if you have no other choice but to move on, you will. But reluctantly, but you're not going to make a fuss. You'll just move on. But you you'll be sad about it. Um, for others of you, um, because of this history and this, these deep feelings here, there's going to be a wanting to um, get back on track and work this out, even though there will be delays with that um, here. Um, sometimes you may feel like it's not why do you have to you know make it right and is it your responsibility but yeah both of you will have to put in that energy to keep this relationship going because um it's it feels like the two of you may be slowly but surely pulling away from each other so what i have for leo's now let's look at virgo hey libra we're gonna do things differently with love i'm only gonna pull a few cards for all libras in love right now you have cut someone out, but they may continue, still be coming back, still coming back. Um, or it's you've cut someone out, but you're, it's still hard for you to get over a situation. A lot of waiting in this relationship that is very broken, problematic. Um, and it's karmic. It's a karmic relationship. So it cycles. It comes in cycles, this relationship, basically. You may feel like... Um, someone is going to kind of use whatever this is like if this relationship is going through trauma and it appears to be somebody's going to use this for their benefit okay um, and it could come out of the blue that someone kind of uh, is able to kind of make this work for them like use it I, i'm hearing against the other person i don't know what that means yeah this relationship is very toxic um You don't want to work this out, Libra. You've come to the conclusion. You don't want to work it out, but it's like once you're, you've are you made that conclusion, now this person is coming in wanting to make it right. You're at a crossroads. They also could be just creating conflict, and you're trying to make this work. For some of you Libras, you're going to make... What is that? What is that? Oh, hold on, guys. <laughs> hold on. Sorry about that, Libras. Um, I had my um, battery on my camera was dying. Uh, and some of you, like I was saying, you can actually uh, find yourself um, possibly um, staying in a situation and working it out because of a child, children, pregnancy, that sort of thing. Your person cares about you, is devoted to this, is taking one step at a time to get things back on track. They do adore you and they're very hopeful that things will get on track properly. It's going to take time. Um, some of you may notice that things, at least your partner is making a great effort here. And it's like a slow and steady process towards you. For some of you singles, first time I'm kind of seeing actual singles here. Um, 
you, if you're now single and you've moved on from someone, you have a new person coming into your life that is just what you've been wanting, what you've been waiting for, what you've been praying for, what you've been hoping, and for some of you more than what you can, right? Uh, so there's that that opportunity to move on to something bigger and better. Just know whether it's something existing and things are getting back on track or a new person, it's going to take time and there's going to be tests that the two of you will have to kind of overcome. But you can, you know, you can if you both really want it. That's what I have for Libras. Now let's look at Virgo. I mean, I don't know why I did Libra first, but anyway, I'm going to do Virgo. <laughs> Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. <laughs> Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly, and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. There's nothing you can do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hey, Scorps, we're going to do things a little differently this time. We are going to focus. I'm just going to pull a few cards for all Scorpios regarding love. This, this love is kind of slowing down. I do feel like some of you, you could be kind of cutting someone out or then you, some of you, this relationship can start to kind of hit a speed bump right where there's some blockages here um, distance could have really created some problems in your relationship Scorpios uh, and now it's kind of like a one day at a time uh, for some of you you're moving on you're moving past this but it's going to take some time before you feel that vigor for others of you um, you kind of want to just move on and just start doing your own thing but it's going to take time you may be blocked from being able to just kind of do your own thing but it, it's gonna come um it's not gonna be much longer and you'll find yourself kind of single um i just see you kind of holding back about this situation and buying your time for some of you if you are in a separation from someone not communicating that sort of thing they're coming back they're just buying their time they're waiting a minute they're coming back um there can be power plays a lot of holding back um but I do see the two of you coming back together, and it may seem like it's out of the blue. I see uh, uh, things picking up. The problems may still persist. Um, the problems could definitely still persist because the two of you may have a situation that's quite broken. Um, it could have been something, even for some of you, if you are single and you're meeting someone new, um, it can start off really quick and fast. And it's because the two of you are coming in with that strong, fiery energy. So quickly things can turn into sex. It could turn into a lot of things. But it could be that situation where neither person have done the work. You both are kind of bringing baggage. And so now it's toxic. So be careful with that because new relationships can kind of crash and burn really quickly. If this is an existing relationship, it definitely speaks to the two of you coming back together. It's almost like one of you would prefer to be single or can acknowledge that you're better when you're single and on your own. But the other person may not be having that and you're weak too. It could be you or them. And then the other person is weak. So they turn back around and go back around. And yeah, the sick could be great yeah it could be intoxicating but it still leaves the two of you broken so there's a sense of this relationship still being problematic and definitely 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 guys speak to an abundance of third party outside people could be group sex could be a lot of things that's going on here that um you know can make it quite difficult for this to maintain because it's just a lot of insatiable energy here and i don't see the rootedness of 
um, something that you can build on. Somebody is holding back from that. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Now let's look at Sagittarius. Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you could do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hi, Sagittarius. Um, guys, can you uh, believe that I almost forgot to do your reading? Um, completely forgot. Shout out to my clients that emailed me and reminded me that Sagittarius was not in the last love reading. Uh, so when I did my production, I was like, oh shit, Sagittarius is not in there. I had to come in right now and do the video. So let's look at your love reading right now. And I'm doing it a little differently, guys. I'm only pulling a few cards for love for every sign. So I'm going to do the same thing for your sign, okay? Now, hold on a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see something. You, your relationship, for some of you, your relationship could be on a men. You could be on a men if you are single and there isn't anyone. A relationship seems to be on its way for some of you Sagittarius out there, especially you single ones. I also see money and success coming your way too. Um, will there be a successful woman coming your way or you, Sagittarius women, you are the successful one and heading toward more success. It definitely could be someone watching you. And I do feel like your singlehood days are almost over. There's going to be something coming in. But pay attention. Some of you may be at a place in your life right now where um, you're not really picking up on slight cues because I get slight cues where people are trying to kind of connect with you there is someone from your past watching you definitely I do see that now couples I see a relationship that sometimes could be a little bit challenged because of someone's career um, they're being all that they can be and I do feel like for some of you whoever is the person that is their career is like taken off the other person may be a little insecure so it could be watching you could be stalking you that sort of thing um i see a lot of success with work career is very successful if you are single um i feel like some of you are going to play hot and cold you can get someone who plays hot and cold with you some of you ladies may have someone who's interested or will be heavily interested in you come august time and leo season um but some of you may, may put your little toe out there and say i don't want to deal with anyone right now so there's time there is an opportunity to get to know people if you want to but you'll take a step back and someone maybe heavy on your heels I see that and I see a lot of success with business for those of you Sagittarius out there who are at single and not looking there's a lot of success with business um, if you're putting yourself out there some of you there's a, a breakup a disconnect and you want it back you want it back but you're walking away at the same time now I've been seeing this for the longest time you have somebody here who wants to see you, be with you, ladies. I'm talking to ladies now. Someone who wants to see you, spend time with you, reconnect with you, do right by you. So for some of you, this could be someone proving or at least trying to prove, if not now, but then in a couple of months from now, they'll be trying to prove their love for you and, and um, investing in you the more practical, sustainable sort of way. There's also money coming your way for some of you out there. If you're expecting money from a particular person, there's money that's going to be coming to you out there. Now, so that's what I see. 
yeah that's what i see for the most part got how i did the love reading for the rest of the songs. <laughs> uh and for some of you, a relationship, a situation might get dropped if you're juggling a couple of people or opportunities that could get dropped. So I see something kind of ending or dropping out of nowhere. And that's coming up within two months time. So, yeah, that's what I have for Sagittarius. Hopefully this is helpful. Sorry, guys, I didn't do it with the other signs. But now on to Capricorn. Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. <sighs> Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get re get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly. And hopefully, no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you could do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hey, Capricorn. Uh, we're doing something different this time. I'm just going to pull a few cards for all Capricorns in love. Now, I hopefully everything is okay in your love life because it was hard to shuffle this deck. It's pretty difficult, but let's go. You're not you're not interested, feeling rejected. Some of you, hopefully nobody's in jail. Some of you feel imprisoned by a situation, especially if this relationship is on the outs. Um, you may be licking your wounds. Now, I'm picking up for energy Capricorns who have experienced a breakup or who are single. If that's not your situation, then you may want to look at a different part of your chart, like your rising, your moon, Venus, something like that. However... Um, there's a sense of you kind of trying to move on from this situation, cutting out and move, moving on from it, but it will stay on your mind. Um, this person is thinking about you a lot as well. Um, secretly, you both are still waiting on each other. Put it that way. You both are. Some of you may be trying to embrace um, singlehood, but at the end want, but at but at the same time wanting love or wanting a particular person. You definitely are gonna attract um, short time, short term flames, excitable people, younger people, that sort of thing. You definitely gonna have the past coming back to you, but you'll be at a crossroads as to what you want to do. Your person is also at a crossroads. There's gonna be an opportunity for you guys to repair. Um, but again, it could be work, career, someone outside of the two of you getting in in between the two of you, like life and other things may be getting in between this union. There's some disappointments in love because it's something about learning a lesson and some restrictions that makes it kind of difficult. Um, but I do feel for some of you, this relationship can repair and get better. And it's kind of it's kind of looking like um, someone's career, someone's work, someone's past history. It can be like my past family or an ex that I've had family with. It's something like that that could be getting in the way of this connection. Um, and if any of you are in a, a distant, long distance relationship, that also could be very problematic. But there is still love here and there's still a wanting to kind of commit for the sake of the longevity, you know, the time, the energy and what has been built and what has been brought together. Yeah. So I see this also being something where it can repair in time. Um, but someone is going to have to concede um, and make some sacrifices for the betterment of the relationship. That's what it looks like. It's not both of you. That's what I have for Capricorns. Now let's look at Aquarius. 
Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you could do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hey Aquarius, we're doing things differently this time. I'm going to only pull a few cards regarding all of Aquarius in love. Some of you may feel like um, jumping in a relationship is foolish, could be foolish. Um, some of you are a little stuck and feel trapped in this relationship that you can't easily get out of. It may be very sex, but who are you guys dealing with? Um, who was Scorpio? Because <laughs> this damn sure looks like the Scorpio reading. It could be sex based and very toxic. It can include, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you guys the cards, I'm just kind of talking and pulling cards. But it can include um, outside people. Um, and, you know, one of you definitely sees the inspiration and the promise of what things can be here. Now, if you're single, it does speak to a woman being um, imprisoned. Hopefully not literal, but she's being imprisoned by her past and can't get over this past. And this man... Um, seems to be moving on from this situation so for some of you uh aquariuses the woman here is is trapped she can't get out of the situation as easily as that man can move on aquarius says you're going after a woman that loves you before you lose her love um and Aquarius ladies, same thing could be happening to you. That man you loved so much, um, now that you're starting to kind of set your eyes elsewhere, this, this person wants back in. So you have someone else that wants back in, and it's going to come and, and tell it like it is. And this person will be telling you the truth. They're giving it to you straight. Whether it's you going or them coming to you, somebody's coming in in a rush to give their honest truth and to lay it all out there because they love someone. So now they're not going to hold back. Now they're going to say, I love you. And they could, it could just, they could just blow it out, blurt it out. Like, I love you. Don't leave. I love you. I want you back. Like that sort of thing. This is a relationship that, um, it could, could run hot and cold. It could be very toxic at times. Um, and it can involve a lot of outside people. Um, this also could speak to friends with benefits and it gets really messy because someone has fallen in love. And it's like someone knows that the other person is weak for them and they can, they tend to use that for the, they tend to use that at their advantage, whether it be because that person is love in love with them or that person is in need, like they need financial help, they need some assistance. So th whoever this person that gives that, right? Um, they can tend to take advantage is what it looks like to me, unfortunately. And there seems to be quite a bit of issue with emotional manipulation, outside parties, stuff like that. Unfortunately, I have to tell you those things, Aquarius. That's what I have for you guys, unfortunately. And now let's look at Pisces. Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. Get ready. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This breakup is coming in hot. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, get ready. Some of you, 
You're about to level up. This situation can get ugly, and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change. <clears throat> Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you can do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. Hey, Pisces. Uh, th we're doing love a little differently this time. I'm going to pull three cards for all Pisces in love. Well, you're blessed. That's a beautiful thing, especially if you have fire in your chart. But it doesn't specifically mean that. But you are blessed um, and protected, and that's really good. Some of you out there are looking good, especially if you are a, a woman. You may, some of you may have a brute for a man in your life. It can be very problematic. He could be overbearing, just very problematic, confrontational. Doesn't may not want you to get peace in your life. Um, and you could be trying to just handle the person with care one step at a time if you have to deal with them because you may have to deal with this person for whatever reason. You're stressed out, I guess, over this relationship or this person. Um, for some of you, you could be hiding a baby. Excuse me. Um, some things are going to come out, so it's going to be hard for you to keep a secret around a situation, whether it be people knowing about um, another person um, or what all has gone on and something involving a child. Uh, so this situation can be kind of messy and a lot of people know about the situation. It's not very quiet, although you want it to be kept quiet. Some of you Pisces are just going to stay quiet, even though there's a lot of gossip and there's a lot of stuff going on. And it could be a big realization about a child. I keep getting that, like someone's pregnant, just had a baby or um, something around child support, child custody, parenting, something like that is going on um, here. You, some of you feel like this person is either coming back or you're going back um, and it has been caught. Like, again, I keep getting somebody's caught, somebody's found out. Um, the jig is up, if you will. Um, and it may be touch and go one step at a time of how do we repair this? Can we repair it? Can we get back on track? That sort of thing. This person's coming in hot and they won't resolve. Um... They may feel, for some of you, you could be someone's blessing. Like when you're in their life, their life goes better. When you leave their life, that life is all, all the flips upside down. So you literally are a blessing to someone. Yes, and they're putting you on a pedestal. I guess now that all this shit can turn on. And they could be like trying to rededicate themselves to you, Pisces. It could be. But if the issues were outside people and that sort of thing. I see someone walking away, especially, like I said, if it was toxic. The thing about it right now when it comes to love and Pisces is that you guys just, you're not going to tolerate BS for long. You're not. You Pisces are not going to tolerate toxic relationships. You're not going to tolerate people making you feel less than, people making you, um, you know, taking from you. Um, degrading you in some kind of way, right? Um, you're not going to tolerate that. So I see, and it has, I feel, a lot to do with Saturn in your chart. You're not, even you men, even you Pisces men, like if a woman is coming, if, if a woman is around you and she doesn't have her shit together and she's very problematic and she's a user and abuser and trying to take from you and all that, you're not going to have it either. So, whatever, however this is showing up, um, I feel you Pisces are going to nip it in the bud. You're not going to tolerate these types of things from people, no matter if you're a man or a woman, because ultimately, you know what you want, you know what you're going after. And I don't feel at this time in your life, any Pisces are settling. So, that's what I have for you guys. And whomever this person is, if you are giving them a chance, they better shape, shape up. Because if they don't, yeah, they certainly, certainly... Um, without blinking will get cut and it will be their karma so 
I don't tell you. And some people, some of you, some someone could be facing that. That's what I have for you guys. Hopefully it's been helpful. Check it back in the next one. Take care. Stay peace. Get ready, guys. This is about to end. This relationship, this job, it's about to end. You're about to meet someone. And this time, it's for keeps. This is someone who wants to invest in you. This job has been taking a toll on you. A toll on you. This job has been taking a toll on you. But get, re get ready. Some of you, you're about to level up. This situation can get ugly and hopefully no one goes to jail. Be careful, guys. This may not be the time to leap. Change is coming. It's here. It's nothing you can do about it. It's coming. It's coming. And you know what? I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Finally, they've been thinking too, too long. They're about to come toward you. To view August and September future predictions reading for all 12 signs, click the link in the description box below. Now on to the video.